artists, so today we're going to be learning about one point perspective. And with this art magic trick, you are going to be able to put this into any landscape that you want to make. And it will make your landscape look more realistic, just like the pros. All right, here we go. So I have my canvas up here. You guys are going to draw along with me. When you start, you're going to want to put towards the kind of the top, like here's the middle right here, but above the middle, I'm going to draw a line. It can be kind of curvy, it can be flat, whatever you want. Uh, this is called my horizon line, and I'm going to write that out for you. Horizon line. And this line divides the sky from the land. Sky, land, sky, land. Somewhere on your horizon line, you are going to put in a point. I'm going to put mine right there. This is called the vanishing point, and I'm going to write that out right here. Vanishing point. This is where all the lines are going to go to. It's what's going to make your landscape look more realistic. All right, I'm going to erase these. With your vanishing point, if I were going to draw something like a road, I would put my two dots where about how wide I want my road to be. I want mine to go off the, off the paper. And I'm going to just connect up my lines from my vanishing point to where I think my road should be. I wanted my road a little wider. Right, like that. Then if I were going to add in the dashes between the side of the roads, I would go ahead and put my dash marks. The ones that are closer to me are going to be darker and longer. And as we go back, they're going to be shorter, smaller, tinier, to where I won't even be able to see them back there. Like this one, I might even widen it out a little bit. So that it looks darker. Uh, if I were going to add in something like telephone poles, I would actually, I'm going to draw a really light line. With your pencil, you'll be able to draw really light and erase it. I have a whiteboard marker. And I'm going to just kind of draw a line where I think how, about how tall I want my poles to be, just for my vanishing point. From here, I'm going to add in my first telephone pole. My telephone pole is only going to go as tall as this line. Then I'll just draw a horizontal line here for the part that the wire hangs off of. And I'm going to keep doing that. When I draw each pole, it's going to be straight up and down. But it's only going to go to the top of that line that I've drawn. This is going to show me how it's tall and short. Notice that if I were to draw a line right on the bottom of these, it would also be straight. Now that I've done that, I can erase my guideline that I've been using. Get rid of that. Redraw some of my lines if I need to. Let me draw the top. And then I can get the top piece off. As they get farther back, they're going to get shorter, smaller, lighter. Then I can connect them up, the wires. They're going to be pretty dark over here, and then as we go back, they're going to get pretty light to where we won't even be able to see them towards the back, right? Dark. Oops, that didn't work out so well. Dark. And then as we go back, they might get really light to where we might not even be able to see some of them. If I were going to draw something like a bush, if I were to draw one back here, it would actually be really light with my pencil and it would be small, really light and small. I wouldn't see much detail with it. But if I were going to draw one towards myself, if I were closer to my bush, and then I would actually draw something bigger and darker. And I would even add some more like textures to it, right? Give it some texture, give it some detail. Things that are closer to me have more detail. Uh, then I might want to draw something like maybe a flower. 
If I'm going to draw a flower, the stem will kind of be a little bigger. I would be able to see my leaves if it's really close to me. The center of my flower, and then like some half circles going around. I might even be able to see a little bee coming towards it, right? A little wing. Here's its head. Stinger. Maybe even some legs if I'm that close. If I were going to draw a flower all the way back here, it would be really small. Really, really light. I might see a little bit of detail, and my B might only be like a dot. I wouldn't even be able to see my B. Uh, then I could add in other things like my clouds, right? And other things to make it look like a landscape. Happy creating!